Aquaman. He's not from around here. Merry Christmas. Got some new shoes. Got some, uh, oh, that didn't reveal anything, but uh, went and got an appointment to replace my battery because my battery life is like 80 to 20% in an hour, less than an hour. So that's a problem, and tonight we're gonna see a play. So looking forward to it, and then, then, I'm, gonna, then I'm gonna sleep. I'm gonna sleep for a long time. Here we are, about to see the play where everything goes wrong. Just uh, checking out the, uh, the, gift, the gift shop. All right, yeah, we'll tell you how it goes. Yes, no, maybe, maybe. A little bit of... Okay, these, these are dope. I like, I like these a lot. What do you think, John? Pretty cool. Wow. Yo, I'm here with Zach and Tommy. We're about to go on a hike, walk a walk the trail. Just got a haircut. I don't know if you can tell. What's you up, can YouTube? Probably tell. Digital aerosol here. Hey, he's <laughs> coming back. Digital he's aerosol and, and Zachary Boss. <laughs> <laughs> doing the doing the collab vlog yeah. this time. <laughs> Yo, go subscribe to these two here. Of course, yeah. Viewers. Digital aerosol, Zachary Boss. I'll link them in the description. I will link you in the description. <laughs> well, we'll see you guys on the trail. He got shot in the neck once. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> he, he showed us the x-rays, and then it was like right, like right there, there was just a fragment of a bullet. And it just left. No. Yeah, he was like, oh yeah, I got, I got shot once. And, um, God, how did, how did he say it? He was like, let's just say it involved in-laws, uh, day after Christmas, uh, desert. Did and he give was, you the details? That was all we got for, like, that day. God. And then, so, like, after, like, the day before the exam or something, he gave us a little more details or whatever. And he was like, yeah, one of them, like, something, like, ricocheted or there's some, yeah, there's some fragment when he, he took, he didn't originally want to go because he was not a big gun person, but he was mm -hmm. like, oh, maybe it's good to take my kids and, like, have them learn gun safety or something, you know? Right, right. So they went out and then some yeah, fragment like hit him and he just dropped and then they like thought the e his like brother or cousin who's an EMT like cleared everyone out and thought he was like bleeding out or something but he got back up and he's like I feel fine, I think I'm fine. <laughs> and then he's like we, we need to go get that checked out he was like no I'm fine and then his, his cousin or whatever was it? like no we gotta we gotta go check it out so they went they went to one ER place that was half an hour away they didn't have an x-ray machine so they went to somewhere else another hospital and then he finally got the x-ray and then they're like okay they like freaked out when they came back and they're like okay we have to operate immediately it's sitting right next to your what's like the big vein in your neck. Trachea? I don't know. No, you know, that's, in the, that's in the throat. Yeah. Like whatever, some artery. Some big artery some there, throat. right? That's like the one if you get cut, you die. It's so whatever it is where if you get cut there, you're the pretty jugular. dead. Yeah, the jugular. The, the jugular, the jugular. yeah. If, if you get cut there, you're, you're basically dead. Like, there's, there's there's just nothing you can do. You're gonna bleed out. You're just gonna die. Mm. And that cuts off blood circulation in your brain. Stop. So, double yeah, so Did he get hit by the jugular? So, no, but it was resting on it. There was a piece of shrapnel left in his neck that was just resting on it. And they're like, look, this is just gonna slowly rub away at your neck. Or at any time time if it doesn't it could just puncture that and you're just gonna drop that down and die like Jeez. you wouldn't know and he's, he's like okay so he goes into surgery <laughs> he's got a little scar now he's fine that was an interesting story from this guy who's very Indeed. chill we want to be number one in anything and everything so if it happens to be sexual partners then go great for it heron. great blue heron you, you heard it, you, you heroned it here first, folks. If not, it's just a herring. <laughs> As promised, here we are on the canal. Looks, uh, looks like a canal, does it not? Everything's going smoothly. We're just um, chewing out on paper, spewing out vapors, eating some capers. <laughs> this is for all you guys who may have never seen ducks before. We've uh, run into quite a few of them. So we're at Public Land Grant University, so we end up down there. How was it? Fine. Also kayak down here. It seems pretty intense current wise. 
I guess it mellows out. Paired. Same here with that next line of your conversation. So. <laughs> There are a bunch of them on our campus, and apparently, I googled it, someone made like an app for a couple college campuses to avoid the keys. Really? So you, it like plots your route to classes <laughs> based like on where the keys are, and your inversion to keys. Like, do you mildly dislike geese, or are you really terrified of geese? Because <laughs> some people really don't like geese. I always forget about that. They bite. Yeah, they're, they're really afraid of them. And they do poop a lot. There, were, uh, there was actually a problem of wild turkeys on the Michigan campus. And they have to send out, the university sent out an email. It's like, hey, these jerk, don't go up and like take pictures with them, don't pet them, don't feed them, because then that just caused them. It looks solid, like I know it's not, but it looks like you could walk on it. Go for it. Cross the line. Yo, check it out, just a bunch of shells. There they go. Better, better catch up to him. That's a problem. We could actually do some photos here if you want. Honestly, that could be that could be cool. Hello. We're waiting in the airport. Going to LA. Here we are in LA, picking up a car, and we're going to go eat at some point. I had a great flight, thanks for asking. All right, peace. Yo, check out this mirror. It's pretty, uh, pretty cool. Hey, John, come in here. Come in and check out this mirror. Hey, look, it's John. Look, it's John. Here we are, 20th floor. Whoa, it's a long way down. Look at that. Hey, it's a car. It's a you doll. There's John. What do you think, John? Should we check out the dollar store? I think we should, yeah. The $5 clothing. Hi. Hello, John. Hi. Eating some pastrami. So we just got some breakfast at Blue Jam Cafe. I got a case of pizza. John got an omelet. And yeah, we got a long day ahead of us, so. Uh, are we going to the left? The left? Okay. Go down there. Huh? Go down there. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, let's see. I think there's an easy path up the side. It's the top. Oh. Yeah, like up and around. Hey, look, it's like my shoe. It's like a wrench. Hey, we're here in Joshua Tree National Park. We're gonna climb some rocks. See you. See you up there. Welcome to Rock Facts with John. Hi, I'm John. Rocks are pretty big, like this rock right here. This has been John with Rocks. Thank you for listening. All right, we did it. Heading back down. Below us, you can see the Joshua trees aptly named for their Joshua features. Maybe. 
Same. Hey John, do your best sheep face. <laughs> Haven't had carbonara in ages. I love that stuff. And now I'm gonna get some gelato, and I can't wait. The meringue sprinkles. Okay. Yo, we're about to um, go see some floats, see some music, some stuff like that. Uh, just edited the vlog a little bit. I'll add in some clips from today, and then it'll be good to go for tomorrow. So I'll see you guys then, or I guess I'm seeing you guys now. John, what's anything to add? So we have to stop again Stadium for the Rose Bowl. Wow, that's a cool car. What do you think of that car, John? It's pretty cool, man. Okay. If we read out this melody. One measure of 6'4". For dirt. Tournament of Roses Parade. Roses Parade. Yeah, we have to. Hi, good. How are you? Come on. What's this fancy? Yeah, do you see the, um, the finish? They have a picture of what the finished one will look like. This is the finished uh, Washington. Yeah. <laughs> oh, do you see the dragon? Yeah, that looks like it's probably for a movie prom. It's I from, think. no, it's from How to Train the Dragon. Oh, that's The hidden world. Wow. What do I have to do to get a car like that? Yo, check it out. They've got a float dedicated to almonds. Your picture back, babe? Sure. They're really moving on up. They got their own float now. Shout out John Walter for the possible euphonians. A lot of work to do. Imagine how much work goes into all of these. It's crushed rice and onion seed. Yeah. What do I have to do here? You guys have done a great job in this place. Wow. All right. Out of the float and into the flyer. Foyer. Alright, time to explore. Gotta show our Rose Bowl pride. Well, the sunglasses were too expensive. So just gonna just gonna deal with it. Yeah. Get some food, some barbecue, chicken, pork, anything. Yeah, but I forgot to film. Forgot to film the pork, but it was good. That was a lot of fun. What would you do if you had a drone? Take really cool pictures. There's the Santa Monica Pier off in the distance. You can sort of see it right there. Hello. One thing that I really like is views. I like being up high and looking down on things, so this is pretty ideal for me. I don't know, I just like to stand somewhere and watch, watch cars, watch people, watch the sun. Today's been a pretty good day. I got to listen to those musicians at the road festival thing, decorating the place we went earlier. So I got to sit there and read, which was nice. And now I can stand and look at all these people going about their lives. All right, bye. If the city never sleeps, then I won't sleep. Little snippet.
I was just listening to it earlier, the demo that I have. One of the things that I want to work on is getting a full ver version ready in the new year. It almost doesn't even make sense to take pictures, everything's so beautiful, it's so annoying. Why can't everywhere look like this? Oh, I just want to live here, I can't wait to move here. Freaking tourists looking at birds. I see it's moving, it's definitely a bird. Oh, there it goes, bye. Pretty cool, right? Uh -huh. Wow, I love plants so much. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah. John said hi. Hi. So right now I'm recording myself, recording John, recording my time. Way too, way too far apart. I do not approve. Yeah, they're, they're so, they're so cool. There's this one, and the other one's a triceratops. We're gonna go run over. Look at that. I love those. More dinosaurs. Same. John, are you happy we're eating at P.F. Chang's? I am, are you happy? What do you like most about P.F. Chang's? The food. The uh, sharing? I mean, you can take it if you want. I'm gonna have one. You just take pictures of food? Do you have your own, you have your own album of food? No, I just sometimes take pictures and then they just, they just there. Whenever I get my camera roll, it's just there, you know? You can look at the food that he yeah. likes. I can taste it again. This is a... A miso butterscotch concoction. I forget the exact name, but I'm looking forward to eating it.